Hi guys, my name is Andrew Stangler and we're back at Cottage Club Ghost Lake. As you all know, this is a really special location for me. And I've been asked a lot recently about what you can do on Ghost Lake. There's not many lakes in Alberta that the sky is really the limit as far as what you can do on the property. And out here at Ghost Lake, that's certainly the case. So behind us here is Ghost Lake. For those that don't know, Ghost Lake is a man-made lake. It is a reservoir and it's the connection of two rivers. So you have running from north to south, the Ghost River, which is a much smaller river. This section of the lake, or the smaller L Bend, as you can see on the uh, map provided, is really where you want to be doing uh, your kayaking, your canoeing, your paddle boarding. It's a much narrower section of the lake and you can only go out up it maybe a little over a kilometer. Uh, but the benefit of it is that it is corralled in, so you do have a windbreak in case the wind does come up. And it's much too narrow to do a lot of your wakeboarding and wake surfing and high wake activities. So this is kind of a protected area that's separated from the main lake that you can do these type of activities. Now, the major portion of the lake, which is right behind us here, is the Bow River portion. This portion is about two kilometers across, and in a prop boat, you can go about eight kilometers up. In a jet boat, maybe 13. Depends how confident you are. Along the southern side of the lake, there's quite a few rope swing areas, picnic areas, little little uh, enclaves that you can go into, uh, as well as it's you know certainly wide enough to do almost all of your power boating activities. That would be you know jet skiing, uh, wakeboarding, tubing, uh, and then a majority of your fishing holes are located up in that direction as well. Mutually, when the wind does pick up, this is the perfect area to take your sailboats out. As you can see, the sailboats are right behind me here and they're moored. It's certainly something you could do. Now, in the winter time, this turns into a totally different space where you have snowmobiling, you have uh, car uh, drifting classes, uh, you have a food truck collection that comes out every year, skating rinks, ice fishing. So it's really a year-round activity, snowshoeing, whatever you'd like. Uh, so it's a very versatile lake and aside from the regular rules of, you know, uh, things which are legal, you can, you can do pretty much anything on this lake. Um, if you have any other questions, you can uh, call or text me at 403-510-4080. I'm happy to help.